Hello everyone, I got a question on how do you find a footprint for a MOSFET. Which library do you choose or use? Okay, so starting from the top, right? Go to Capture CIS Lite, whatever you have, and create a new project. You would name it, let's call it MOSFET Example. PC Board Wizard is what you would choose. And then create a folder that has an appropriate name, like MOSFET Example. I'm going to click OK to replace these because I already made the project. And you just scroll down to transistor.olb. That's the library you want if you're looking for MOSFETs. Now with your project loaded, open up your page that the schematic would be on. Go to Place Part and then type in MOSFET, maybe NGDS, for example. That means Gate Drain Source. Double click on it, place your transistor. With the transistor placed, let's zoom in with I on your keyboard. Gate is 1, Drain is 2, Source is pin number three, okay? So let's keep that in mind. What you do then is when you have your MOSFET and it simulates and whatever and you know your schematic is good, you can go to a website like a digikey or arrow.com, wherever you want to go, and type in MOSFET or something. And you click on the transistors, FATS, MOSFETs, and then your list of transistors will show up. You always want to go with in-stock items, make sure they're active, okay? And then keep in mind, you can scroll to the right here in digikey the package case is really important. I like to go with the SOT23 package. So we go SOT23 flat leads. And that should be fine. And of course the uh, voltage or current type, you know, depends on your application. Choose FET type as N channel just because. Then apply filters. When you apply the filters, you'll be able to see all these options. I like to go with the lowest unit price. Uh, starting from smaller to big, so you hit that up arrow there, and then select this MOSFET. When that opens up, I already have it loaded here. You can click on the data sheet, and then it'll show you the details of the MOSFET you just found that meets your specifications. So gate, drain, source, G, D, and S. The last step is you go to PCB editor to see if there's a footprint that exists for that. So go to place components manually, advanced settings. Choose library and under the placement list choose packet symbols. I type in something like GDS, well with asterisks flanking it, and then you'll find something like the SMSOT23 GDS. Click in place to see if it has the pin matchings that you want. And look at that, GDS is what you need. In the next video, I'll show you how to associate this footprint with the uh, component in Capture CIS.